Welcome to the channel. I hope you and your loved ones are safe and well. In this video, I'm going to show you how I transfer my save state from one SD card to the next. And we're going to get into that right after this. So before we get into what you need, I just need to let you guys know now, the safe states are only going to transfer and work if you're using the same firmware on both SD cards. Okay, so if you're using Emelec 3.5 on one, in order for that safe state to be transferred over, you need to make sure that your second SD card is also running Emelec 3.5, okay? So otherwise, it's not going to work at all and you'll be just stressing yourself out. So here's what you're going to need. USB card adapter. Micro SD1, micro SD2, and last but not least, your RK2020. So let's move over to the computer and we'll take it from there. Sorry about the way it looks guys. My capture card is just on a madness for some reason today and it just doesn't want to work. So I'm going old school and just recording it straight from the phone again. <laughs> so, you know, don't mind that. Okay, so let's dive in. First things first, you're going to need to download this software here, Linux Fast Systems for Windows by Paragon Software. If you don't have that, you're not going to be able to see what is on your SD card. So it's important that you do get that. So I'm just going to click that on. Click yes. There we go. It's up and running. Now I'm going to put in my SD card that has the initial saves on them. Okay. SD card is in and on. What I'm going to do, just bring this down. Ignore this. If you see something like this, just ignore it and just leave it. Don't even worry about it. In fact, yeah, don't even worry about it. What we're going to do is go to this PC and look for the drive. On my computer, it says storage F and you can see this is the uh, micro SD gigs that are here. I'm just going to click in. You're going to see a whole lot of folders. The only one we're interested in today is ROMs. So I'm just going to click and open that. So let's grab a save state. Uh, let's start off with, uh, let's see. Let's get a save state for, let's try CPS one. So the file you're looking for, it just says state on the end of it. It will have the name of the game and then it will say state. So I'm just gonna grab that, boom. Drop it onto my desktop. Let's get something for Dreamcast. Where are we? Dreamcast, Dreamcast. Oh, where you at? There you are. Dreamcast, Zombie Revengers here. Click open. Let's just open that a bit more. There we go. Got another state there. So that's another save file. Going to grab that. Boom. Desktop. Going to go back. Back again. Let's try N64. Nintendo 64. There we go. N64. There we go. We've got Mario Kart 64 there, and we've got a Mario Kart 64 save state. So I'm going to grab that one. Boom. Onto the desktop again. Right. I would like to grab PSP, but for some reason it's not in the folders there, and I've not been able, or I've not had the time as yet to locate that. So in terms of save states, I'm stuck right now. If anybody knows where the save states are kept for PSP on the Emulec firmware, please drop it in the comments below. We could, those that don't know, we could all, you know, use that help. So I'm going to skip past PSP. I'm just going to go PSX or PlayStation 1. Got uh, Street Fighter Zero 03 state. I'm going to grab that, pop that on the desktop. Okay. Now that I've taken my saves and I've put them on the desktop, I will no longer be needing this micro SD. But remember, you have to unmount. Do not just drag it out, otherwise these things are gonna disappear and you could risk corrupting stuff. So make sure you always unmount. That's what I'm gonna do now. All right, that's unmounted. Take out that. And now I'm gonna put in the SD card in which I wish to place those save states on. Okay, folders open, just to show you, let's just bring that down a bit, just to show you that this is a different SD card. Click back in here. 
going to go to this PC. This is just the easier way for me. Storage F. Again, I'm not sure what yours is going to be called, but I'm just going to grab Storage F. Open that up. Again, the whole list of folders. Go into ROMs. Let's look for CPS1. Final fights here. Let's grab that save state. Drop him in. We'll go back. What was the next one? Dreamcast. Okay, with the Dreamcast save states and the PlayStation save states, maybe it's because they're CDs or something like that. You must take that save state and place it in the folder in which the game is in. You can't leave it on the outside like what I've done with Final Fight or what you can do with the cartridge games like Mario 64. These type of games, they need to go within the folder in which the game is placed. So I'm going to drop that in there. And that's in. Otherwise, it won't read it and it won't work. So that just to double check, the state is here. And it has to be in there and it has to be the same name. I'll go back. Back again. Let's go Nintendo 64. Where are you? Where you at? Nintendo 64. As you can see, Mario Kart 64 is here. Grab the save state. Drop it in. Don't need to worry about it being in any kind of folders. If you've got different name games in there, it's not going to matter. It will work just fine. It's just different from Dreamcast and PSX games. Not sure why it just is. And what else do we have here? Ah, PSX. Or PlayStation 1. Street Fighter 0 Free. Just gonna open that folder. Grab that it's on the edge there. Street Fighter 0 Free. Then I'm just gonna place it in there. Okay. And hopefully that works. In case you didn't know already, I've got a whole load of other RK2020 videos in the playlist that I've linked in the description below so be sure to have a look at that make sure when you're taking out your sd card you unmount i can't stress this enough to you make sure you press unmount otherwise it's not going to work because it can happen so I'll click unmount and now let's head back over to the device and see the fruits of this labor right so i'm gonna take the sd card and place it into my rk2020 and see if this actually did what i needed to do you turn on the device. We go in. Zombie Revenge. Load it up. Let it load because sometimes it can be temperamental. Let me just let that load up. And sometimes it might not work straight away. Just just restart the game if that's the case. All right. So if you don't know how to save, let me just let you know now. To save, you hold select and then R2 or the R trigger here to load, select and then L1. Which one is it? Yeah, L1. L1, so select an L1 is to load the state, select an R1 is to save. All right, all right, so let's see if it's actually saved. Sorry to take so long. Boom, just like that. You see that? That's not how the game starts. And there you go, just to show you again. See it there, and again, one more time for the people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so a Dreamcast save state is all there and running onto the next emulator. What was the other one now? Was it N64? Yeah, jump in, Mario Kart. All right, let's just do it from here. I'm not going to completely let the game load. Come on, see, this is what I was saying. Sometimes it gets a bit silly. So let's try again. Let's not have enough bar of it. Okay, let me just come out and start, start this again. 
go in. So this is what I was saying. Sometimes it can be temperamental. Let me try from here. Select L1. And there you go. See that? Straight into the straight into the thick of it. Come again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so when you're about to lose, yeah, and you know that it's all gone pear shape, you just give it a one bam. <laughs> and you're back in the game. <laughs> it's a skank, you know, really. Alright, cool. On to the next one. What did we do? Street Fighter uh, Zero Three, yeah? Let's go. PlayStation. Yeah, Street Fighter Zero Three. I don't know why that pops up. It doesn't really matter. If anybody knows why, drop the comments below. All right, let's try. Boom, you see it there, yeah? Just deaded Cody like that, yeah? Hold on. Where's my? Yeah. Yeah, and then duck out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Giving it the nut chuck. Ooh, kids. <laughs> nah. So, yeah. There you go, man. It works, yeah? It does work. So, you can transfer them. Yeah. And there you have it. That is how I transfer one save state from one SD card straight over to the next. I hope this was useful to you. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. If you've got another way of doing it, drop that in the comments below and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.